Hello, this is day seven now of our reading plan going through the life and the ministry of the Apostle Paul. So today we get to his letter to the Thessalonians, the first letter that he wrote to a specific church. And the book of Thessalonians was written as a letter to them because he was very concerned about that, that uh, church. He See, he was run out of town just a few weeks after he started working there and evangelizing people and, and setting up a church. So within the month, he had to be moving on. And so he was really worried about this, this new baby Christians in a brand new church. So he sent this letter back to them, and uh, or actually he sent Timothy back to them. And then when Timothy came and told him how, every, how good everything was going, he wrote this letter to encourage them telling them just how happy he was that they were still growing in their faith, that they were still developing as Christians, that their church was still growing strong because uh, he was kind of worried about them. And anyway, so the letter is full of joy. It's full of, of encouragement. And so he wanted to encourage them in the most exciting thing he could think of, and that is the second coming of Christ. Jesus is coming back for us. So in the book of Thessalonians, there are five chapters. Every chapter ends talking about the second coming. So that was on his mind, and that was so exciting and so uh, encouraging. He just mentioned it over and over and over again. So 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 talks about the rapture, how God's going to come back and get us and take us to live with him in heaven. And I think maybe my favorite parts are though in chapter five, where he says, pray always, rejoice always, give thanks always and in everything. Some of those always and forever passages, pray, give thanks, rejoice. Those keep me going and encourage me all the time. So be blessed now as we read God's word together.